Crime lab technicians are looking into a possible hate crime in Westchester County. The grave sites of veterans in the African American section of Greenwood Union Cemetery were vandalized over Memorial Day weekend. CBS 2's Lou Young with more on the outrage on what was stolen from the cemetery. This stone was actually knocked over. The historic cemetery is no stranger to vandalism. There have been broken monuments and toppled tombstones before, but the outrage this past weekend is something new. And to have this happen to their veteran, to these veterans, is just unconscionable. American flags placed on the graves of African Americans from four wars were stolen last Friday as Memorial Day approached. It happened in an old segregated burial ground, a resting place for 379 New Yorkers of color, including 35 veterans of the Civil War, the Spanish-American War, and both world conflicts. A careful sacrilege that is in many ways more chilling than previous intrusions. We live in a country where some people believe that America's is theirs and theirs alone. And that is not the case. Whoever did this took a lot of trouble to remove the flag and leave the sticks behind, perhaps as a message, and only in the African-American part of the cemetery. When the American Legion came back and replaced the flags, they decided to leave the naked sticks as a reminder. Rye police have gotten forensic evidence from some of the flag sticks and sent them off to be analyzed. Suspects could be charged with a hate crime. This is something that's a despicable act. Um, you're tempering with the American flag on people who, uh, who are war veterans, and it's something we're not going to tolerate in Rye. Among those at rest here, Samuel Eshmond Bell, a farmhand who served his country with the 54th Massachusetts and participated in the assault on Fort Wagner, South Carolina, memorialized in the movie Glory. He was a real person. He was one of us, even if some would prefer we forget. We're in Rye, Westchester County. Lou Young, CBS 2 News.